Okay, so question four. As a holding company owner, you have agreed to a promissory note of 70,000 dated December 24th for a six month term at 10%. Okay, so 70,000. And that was um, dated December 24th, six months. So this gives us a lot of information already. Um, so how much is the note valued at on April 11th, 2019, if money's worth 4%? Um, okay, so this is going to be kind of uh, two steps. So let's draw our timeline here, just so that we can see what's happening. And this was um, 2018. That was towards the end of 2018, so December the 24th. Okay, and this was for 70,000. Okay, so the rate for the note is 10%. All right, and now, so it's six months. So that's gonna be 2019. So from December, six months. So I guess that's going to be June. Fourth. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to shift this over here. Now, <clears throat> that would just give us the maturity value of this note. So the 70,000 is the face value of the note. Okay, the principal starting point. And then at 10%, we can find out how much that note would be on the end. Now, it does say we want to know how much it's valued on April 11th. So April 11th is actually, so somewhere here. Okay, so we're gonna have to try to bring this back. Okay, that will be our second step. Okay, but we're gonna be bringing it back and the rate money's worth is 4%. So, okay, so that's step one. And then this will be step number two. Um, so again, we need to know the the days here. So December 24th, so hold on, 2018 and 2019. Okay, so still no leap year. So let's go back to the calendar. So December 24th, so that's, okay, that's right here. So 358. Okay, so that's 358. Okay, so that's this. Let's just find out all the all the dates. April 11th. Okay, so um, April 11th. Okay, so that's 101st day. So 101st day. And then June 24th. Um, so June, oh, 24th, it's just like the other one. So that will be 175. Okay, so we have, so this is 175th day. All right, so let's, um, so I'm going to go back to the blue. Okay, so we're going to move it forward. And therefore, we're going to use the future value formula for this one. So we know it is 70,000, one plus. So the rate is 10%. Now we wanna know, okay, so T. Um, so here on the side, so 2018. Okay, so we have 365 days minus 358. Okay, so that's seven days, okay, in 2018. And then 2019, we're moving it all the way to June 24th. So that's 175. So in total, we have 182. So 182 divided by 365. Okay, so that's what the maturity value will be of this note. Okay, so let's do that first.
So it does grow a bit for us. I mean, it is at 10%. Okay, so we have this um, much. Okay, so that's the value on uh, June 24th. But now we have to bring this value back. Okay, so while bringing it back, Okay, we have to use the present value formula. Okay, so 73490.41 divided by okay, um, 1 plus. Now we have to be careful, we have to use the, the interest rate money is worth, which is 4%. Okay, and we need to know time t. Well, since we're going back, so that's 175, that's June 24th, minus uh, 101, okay? So 175 minus 101, so we have 74 days, Then we're bringing this back, okay? And that will give us what the note is worth. Um, so let's do that. So we have... Okay, so let's calculate this through. You can punch it in. That's how much this note would be worth, okay, on April 11th. So yes, you got to go and do these two steps in order to do this question. Okay, so I hope that um, that helps. And that's it.